There is a lot of buzz going around the internet regarding Disney's new film, Wish. The modern age of Disney movies has changed over the past few years, and I think it all stemmed from this. Tangled is responsible for a lot of things, giving birth to the quirky princess, the more humorous style of storytelling, and an ongoing battle of what is better, Tangled or Frozen. Let me take you back in time. December 2009, Princess and the Frog is released. It's a classic Disney princess story, the first ever black princess. It's an incredible movie, everyone loves it. And then a year later, the film Rapunzel is announced. That's right, this film originally had a different title, but was changed so it could appeal to all genders. And after Princess and the Frog, we truly said goodbye to 2D drawn animation films from Disney, as Tangled was one of the first movies after Chicken Little to be done completely done on CGI. You see, Disney's first CGI movie was Chicken Little, but due to that film receiving mixed reviews, CGI Disney movies were off to a bumpy start. Hi there, it's me, The Average Critic, and let's talk about Tangled, the birth of modern Disney movies. So Tangled came out in 2010. It was a new age for Disney as they decided all their movies from here to be done with CGI much like Pixar. And looking at the films that were coming out at the same time from Pixar, Wall-E, Up, and Toy Story 3, Pixar were truly in their golden age. And it looks like Disney were very much falling behind. They needed a hit and Tangled was definitely it. Let's start with what in my opinion made Tangled so special. Its characters were reimagined in a new way. Gone were the traditions of the damsel in distress and the handsome prince coming to rescue her, being based off a traditional story, but it was reimagined with their characters. Rapunzel is a young, quirky, and kind of socially awkward due to her upbringing. She's also, for the most part, a happy person. She's happy in her tower, but yearns for more and dreams of an adventure outside of her world. In the past, Disney female characters tend to suffer from something that make them relatable. Rapunzel, while it may be twisted, has a good life, but longs for more. This quirky, weird social outcast follows very much into its films now, with Anna from Frozen, Moana in Moana, and Mirabelle from Encanto. While this trait is starting to be repeated a lot, Tangled made it so that Disney princesses could be more relatable, and it made your main character an underdog, which makes them way more easier and fun to root for. But in Tangled, it's more of a character choice to make Rapunzel a more innocent character. She has grown up all alone with only a chameleon for a friend, and she is just turning 18. They very much make that character trait a part of a history to work within the story. Which of course brings us to Mother Gothel. Mother Gothel is probably one of Disney's most modern and psychological villains. I love that the audience knows from the start that she is the villain, as it just creates the most hilarious moments from her. Mother Gothel is just a horrible person. There's really a dark and twisted side to her that we know that some parents are actually like that. The way she insults Rapunzel and immediately apologizes and then also takes it back to constantly making it seem like she's the villain when she's the one who stole a child. <laughs> After this film, especially when it comes to the villains, they have either been non-existent like in Encanto, a throwaway twist villain in Frozen, and villains who nearly go there but then really turn out to be friends like Strange World and Raya the Last Dragon. But Mother Gothel from the very start is the villain, and shows nothing but horrible moments of villainy. There are tiny moments like the fact that she's constantly touching Rapunzel's hair and not Rapunzel herself. It somehow makes one of the most funniest and vile villains to ever come from Disney. Flynn Rider, or rather Eugene Fitzherbert, is perhaps a more traditional Disney male character, being a mix of Aladdin and Hercules, but surprisingly, he has just as much character as Rapunzel. It would have been easy to make Flynn Rider just another stereotypical male Disney character, but they chose to give him some serious depth to his character, as he is someone who wants to be someone else. It also helps that he is also incredibly funny and charming as hell. Characters in this film have a much more modernized take, despite this film being set in the sort of middle ages. Even the script from the way they talk to each other is incredibly funny, but very modern. Gone are the ways of the magic carpet rides and dancing at a ball. Characters talk like real people and have normal, selfish dreams, which in turn kind of makes them more relatable. Same goes for the music, which paved the way for a more modern Disney songs we now hear. The songs are all wonderful, with Mother Knows Best being the most slay song I've ever heard, and it's filled with reprises galore, as this film really acts like a true stage musical. There's plenty of lovely modernized harmonies, a great I Want song from Rapunzel, and of course, an amazing love song. But where films like Frozen and Moana, while they are great movies, Tangle feels more like it's not always trying to show off with its music. It tells a wonderful story through its songs, rather than trying to beat every other song it's competing with. 
every song feels necessary to the plot, and we have wonderful scenes and moments of dialogue to break apart each song, which add for a much more compelling narrative. This for me was my problem with Encanto, as it's just song after song after song. I just want the characters to sit down and talk. Tangled gave birth to the modern Disney films we see today, but with half the recognition. Three years later, Frozen comes out and it just explodes with excitement. Everyone was singing Let It Go and the songs and story was shoved down our throats. And while for the record, Frozen is a good film, but it made Tangled massively overlooked as Gone was the quirky princess with a fun and interesting love story and In was the strong independent queen who could just belt out show tunes. Well, not all the time anyway. Anyway. It's gonna get us into trouble. But nowadays, that is actually usually a big argument. Which do you prefer, Frozen or Tangled? And Tangled has a very strong fan base, really because of that reason. I suppose without Frozen taking all the spotlight, I don't think this film might not have had the following it has. But it does get less attention from Disney, being that Frozen got a sequel six years later, and Tangled got a short. I think a lot can be said for the animation for this film, as the most recent film, Wish, has come under fire massively for its animation style. And while I do prefer 2D animation, especially from Disney, Tangled was modelled after oil paintings to create a more stylistic style, especially with a film being made with CGI, they still really cared about the artistry of how the animation flows, and it works incredibly well. The animation is colourful, and it definitely stands out on its own. I think films like Frozen, Moana, and even Encanto owe a lot to Tangled, because these films get way more attention, with Moana Remake being announced, Encanto is just a Disney-like Hamilton spin spin-off sort of film, and even Frozen 4 has just been announced. And it's a shame because I prefer Tangled over every single one of these films, because even though they have similarities in style and characters, Tangled not only was the first one to do it, but it doesn't get half the recognition it gets. I think we forget that Tangled may have started this craze of the quirky princess, the modern day musical numbers, and the more simplistic CGI animation style, but it had its own personality and it wasn't trying to compete with its predecessors. They just made a damn good movie. So after all that, it gets my professional rating of 8 out of 10. Just because I have recently decided I do very much prefer 2D animation, probably because I have been watching a lot of Studio Ghibli recently. And it's going to get my personal rating of 9 out of 10. It goes up one more notch because this is the film I was watching when I told my girlfriend I loved her. I know, aren't I just cute? So thank you for joining me in this video. Let me know in the comments section what are some of your thoughts on Tangled and what is your favourite of the more modern style Disney films. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to the channel as the only way to show YouTube that my videos are worth watching is to subscribe, so please make sure you do. You can also follow me on all my social media platforms as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next one.